All right, yins guys, I'm going to try to do this step-by-step -step boring ass um, things to some people, but this is uh, how you get into the, um, how you transition into uh, hardening up your fist a little bit to be able to do the walking, which I always preach to people that, um, that uh, you need, but how you get to there and how not looking at everybody else's shit is going to do anything for you if you don't get into the practice. But the way uh, none of us are Bruce Lee here, like I said, my stuff is based on I do construction jobs and all kind of different things. That explains why I'm doing my videos to heavy metal music by chain link fences and gravel. But anyway, no, enough of that talk. Before you can even get where I'm at, like... And I do this too because in reality, if you have somebody, you know, a little bigger than you and lifts weights and they get their massive forearms and they're a larger stature than you, I mean, the reality, uh, you get you can get knocked on your ass. That's like a, a welterweight boxer trying to tackle a, uh, a heavyweight boxer. Ain't going to happen, you know. Uh, but out there in life, if there was people around you or whatever too, to, you want to deliver something like a newspaper so you don't get into any trouble. But see, what I basically do here is um, say you're applying the pressure and putting your weight gradually, and then at the same time you're stretching a little bit too, you know. But stand, then I uh, get back up because everybody else got these soft hands, and everybody's all talking about, oh yeah, like make something. Trying to make shit unattainable, like it's impossible or something, uh, when people were doing it. You gotta gradually, you know, uh, if you're a person that works on cars and hits your hands all the time, you could probably catch on right away. I mean, just before you can do the push up, because your hands are gonna shake, but yet, you can use your thumbs to keep it balancing. Because people do push ups on their thumbs all the time, keep it balanced. You gotta get your hands at least used to the you know, after the pain starts going away. Because some people would, I don't know, I've seen videos before on how people in these martial arts classes, you, they were doing knuckle push-ups, making you do knuckle push-ups as punishment. Well, in the army, give me 50 push-ups or whatever. I mean, I was had videos I used to have all kind of, when the glory days of Pirate Bay, when you could download them there, everything, music and videos that you want. But, but I found out that certain work you're doing, you know, on on the ground and all that and getting up off the ground you could do it anyway but seeing that you're you're seeing just standing here you know you're seeing you know everything in a muscle group uh is you're feeling it you can just stand here and just be planking you know what i mean and then try to keep things straight you know if you want to do the military dis discipline push up like i said do a whole bunch of bends but if you do the knuckle push up like some people want to do uh all out, you know, before you had your hands and wrists and muscle groups used to it, you're going to be doing a push-up and you're going to be uh, da, 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 shaking. And you know how you're barely doing a push-up and you try to do it and you, every part of your body is shaking and the wrists won't take it. Like I said, you can do your thumbs a little bit. But if you don't get your hands used to it, you know, you're not going to... And plus, you don't want to snap your wrists all of a sudden either. You know, if you've got different wrist size then gradually you can just boom. So you, you listen to you, even on bricks, you can hear them. Then you can jump. I mean, that's what you're eventually going to be able to do. And then, you know, you eventually you, you do it little by little. You can walk clean across like a floor. And I preached before too, walk them feet. Yeah, make the noise. Do a little tap dance. And I thought about doing a video, but uh, uh, Lord of the use Lord of the Dance just for the hell of it. Uh. But I noticed some talk about the difference between, say, you do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You keep going back like back and forth like that to stay in the camera, like I did for some of my old videos. The back and forth, the this. And this, 
both sides of your abs are going to be screaming. And it's really good for the abs, especially if you've got a slightly hunched posture. Them abs are pulling like nobody's business. I mean, they're going to be if you try this for a while. And then you have your head up, see, and it's taking care of the hunchback problems because I did older videos back in an old home I had where I was putting the 25-pound plates, plate, putting them on my chest on the floor while you're doing yoga-like things to try to push those ribs down and then do breathing and stuff like that. And, uh, but when you're doing shit like this, it's going to pull those abs. But when you're doing like I was doing in the videos in uh, other videos I was doing, uh, where you're walking clean across a floor and back, you're going to be going, I think I'll put like little clips of it in here. Like you're constantly doing this. And then you go all the way back to a length of a floor. Like if I had a, see a camera person or, or not with me or something, like across the floor here, uh, I have to get people to do it camera, camera angles. I do that pretty much everything that by myself. I very rarely get a camera person. But when you're doing like walking one way, most of your pressure is going to be on one fist more than the other. Because say I'm walking this way, and then I'm reaching the fist to go this way. This fist is getting more of the pressure. So unlike what I was just telling you, going back and forth, both sides of the abs are going to be screaming. But then when you're going like this to go this way, you're going to have more weight on the fist than that. Then say when I'm walking this way, more weight's going to be on this fist because this fist ends up being the one that's steadying myself while this hand is reaching to go this way. So I'm going dit, 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 dit. And yeah, like I said in two of the videos, two videos, my older videos on there, I've paid people to hold the camera. You know, like I put a little uh, clip on it. Matter of fact, I was thinking about doing a video and putting the name of the old company I worked for just to fuck with them. And I put a clip of the place I worked before that, which I didn't get fired for doing that. But then uh, the company I got fired for, in that company I paid uh, paid a woman to actually, because uh, she asked, oh, could I borrow a little bit of money? I said, how about if I pay you this much more, or can you hold the camera for me and all that? So uh, I had a clip of that. So that's what I had to do. I was a place you work for with frown on it, you know. I went from doing little put knuckle push-ups to, to yoga thingy, yoga thingies, yoga uh, stuff. But it wasn't just yoga when they started seeing on bare fists and the people that uh, wanted to uh, push it on you and, you know, you're not going to get in a physical fight with that I was able to do things on the bare fist and just smile at them. And, and then I'll be able to laugh at them in between me and you. Uh, in between me and them, it's like, Okay, asshole, what the fuck are you going to do, you know? Uh, you know neither of us are really going to tangle because you ain't going to do shit, you know? Like that, uh, purvey a message without, you know, anybody getting into conflict, you know what I mean? Because people will look at you and think shit. But then you get somebody with uh, really heavily built tattoos, it's a different story. And they're not going to give a fuck, but you have every right to keep yourself from these lower level people from trying, thinking they can fuck with you. But above all, it's about having fun, you know what I mean, um, too. Uh, you get a mixture of different influences, you're going to get a, 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 get a hooked on it, you know what I mean? But then I'm saying, too, while you're working on your flexibility, you know, do the push-up like this. And like I said, too, I've studied a type of um, an, uh, ancient roots, you know, club bell art, Indian club art, it's was from one of those uh, other countries and all that, where they're doing something on a push-up board and they're holding it, marching around like a sword and then they use Indian clubs to crank their wrists up and all that. And I merged it with American club bell, which like you could, if you do push-ups like this, you want to work on some of your flexibility, even though your goal ain't, doesn't have to be to totally do some of the full splits like I can do sometimes and sometimes I can't because I got very resistant... Uh, hamstrings here. I get it. I done it in videos and I showed you the other day where I get it. I'm still this much off the ground. You got to keep doing it. But even if you don't want to get that flexible, do a lot of this because if you need a tiny bit of flexible anyway, like when I started out, I didn't care. You know what I mean? I just some 
flexibility to keep my legs from bowing in. You know, some people were a little more knock knee than others. But then I started getting hooked on it and seeing other people, and I was kind of getting a little bit there, you know. But, you know, push up there, push up here. Touch your head on the floor. Move back like this a little bit. And then do some of this. Then get back up. <laughs> but uh, like I said, and gradually, I says it's not all just about doing the push up. Bounce around like this. Because uh, it matters. You're going to be feeling it in the muscle groups. Then when you're doing the bouncing, whole sessions of that. It leads to and like that. Ew, hurt me, hurt me. But um, I mean, you got to do it a little bit of time. Start standing and because uh, if you uh, if you're distracted by uh, if you're still in the thing where you got these soft hands and you're going to. Uh, if you are in some kind of pain or everything is going to be shaken, condition yourself first and plus it's for safety because your wrist can, your wrist can snap. As a matter of fact, too, right while I'm at it, I never did this in a long time. This is I uh, highly advocate it because in case your wrists snap, you know. Uh, I saw a girl doing this on YouTube and I lost track of it. I collect things like that. And uh, some people, I don't want to steal their videos if they're still active on YouTube. And I'd ask their permission, maybe show a picture of it because I think it's cool. It was some kind of thing, push-ups that some men can't do. And this girl was doing it. She was doing like this. But some people got more flexible or less flexible arms than others. It's going to look like this. But I, was, I still got an old uh, video in my archive. A blue wall in the background that I was doing these. Uh, in the place I got fired from and shown off in front of the chicks with flexibility. But here it goes. Um, then i push up this. Say if you don't, you don't got to worry as much if you accidentally snap your wrists. See? Then do the push up like that. And then you can fly back up like that. And it works. I usually do do these things while I'm working on my flexibility at the same time. But at the same time, if you've got this much flexibility, it's easier to do a knuckle push up in this position. But some people, you know, earlier in their flexibility, their groin can be hurting from uh, stretching because if they only in this phase. But me, like I said, I'm doing this on a session. I have to be doing this a bunch of times, you know, every day. And I'll, go, I'll be getting down. Uh, farther, I have to fucking start over every fucking day. I'm not like the. Some of you guys ain't gonna be like the yoga women and these kung fu guys. I think one of those guys on there did say some people your flexibility ain't gonna stay. You keep doing this, loosen up the back, and you're gonna start getting down lower. But yeah, you can do. You can even do it like this. But uh, I'm just trying to do a, even though it's a sloppy, any of you guys that are trying this shit and not making videos, there's people out there. There's some subscribers that you talk to me a little bit privately on my other social media. My whole reason why I'm putting this out, I don't give a fuck about my uh, views. Or, um, I don't have any kind of fancy drama all these people that are making money and getting that they're major fitness influencers. I just want to see, like, there was one guy I did a video about. He says, stop imitating fitness pros. Yeah, I agree. you got to do a little something of your own. And what I'm trying to do, since I do uh, so many things like that, I don't want to see you get hurt. There's a reason why you do things and 
you got to start out small. But like I said, there was these uh, karate studios. As uh, I says, I used to, uh, you know, the glory days of Pirate Bay when you were able to get every single music on a, at will. Like Dave Mustaine of Megadeth said, people were really able to download shit at will, literally. So they had it through live concerts, you know, to make their money. You know? But uh, you were able to get other kind of uh, instructional videos of all kinds. And there was a guy that was talking about uh, where they uh, did, uh, did um, I guess, you know, I heard the stories, but, you know, I never really asked one. But talking about how some people will, just like in the army, give me 50 push-ups. So do, you have you do knuckle push-ups like a punishment. And there was another thing, too, that uh, in some workplace, too, people like want to say their shit or act a certain way do this shit in front of them. Uh, my workplace fired me because it was a hazard, but I think their relatives were triggered or offended because they knew, you know, I made them feel small. But you can usually, um, unless it's some big built guy with tattoos and see you doing this shit, you can almost look at one of your people that's kind of at your level and all that, and you can see their soft hands, you know. Say you're, you're a person that doesn't do this shit I'm doing, and maybe you work on cars, you can tell some of these other other the other assholes that yeah what are they gonna do go ahead and put your hands on me yeah your little soft hands yeah maybe you might make a mark on my face or crack the lip or make my nose bleed but then your ass is gonna get it you know what i mean but, but it doesn't make you you know bulletproof either you know i'm just saying but for whatever reason you should be having fun do it it gets some case addictive you know but and I'm almost saying, too, that, you know, you can be on the ground doing work, you know, the movements like this. So I'm like yoga. I like to make fun of it. Uh, I dub people when I make videos about those uh, assholes. These, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing. I'm almost laughing talking about it. yoga, satanic and all that. I make videos to make fun of them. They don't even get many views because I'm on their uh, list. I'm on their do not watch list. They're telling all their buddies and their subscribers you know they're putting me out there secretly. Don't watch this guy. He's just trying to uh, piss us off or whatever. And uh, But then there's other people watching, you know, my stuff too. And it's on social media. So anybody, uh, hey, whatever you want to kind of believe in, if you had issues with religion like I do, but, you know, trying to salvage a little bit for good reasons, I don't know, like pissed off at things. Uh, your God-given right to be able to do to, uh, do something and not fall into, you know, uh, everybody wants you to be uh, uh, some kind of obedient sheep or obedient worker in a workplace. Oh, yeah, they want you to be uh, chubby flat, chubby or, and flabby and uh, slow or, or if you're smaller framed, you know, oh, skinny little arms or whatever and flabby girly arms or whatever. But yet they want you to be strong and smart enough to do their work and want you to be good and tired. And uh, anything you do in a workplace that's bettering yourself in front of people, some people are like, oh, awesome. And then other people to try to egg them on and say, well, look, yeah, you're, you're better than this. And then the other crowd is almost like it's challenging and confrontational. And you might get this supervisor that, or a relative of a supervisor or something, you know, their lieutenants or whatever that, what you're doing, like shit like this is, you're like a, a slightly, uh, I don't know, lion or dog or, or whatever that's uh, pissing on the alpha's territory. You're like, it's a, they're treating it like a, a territorial pissing and you know what I mean? And you're the place, you know, your, your property that, that's disposable, they can throw you out and be destitute, throw it, kick you out. Unlike slavery days where you had people of different color, you know, or, in, or slaves. And in other countries, there was even people of other colors or that were slaves because of conquest. You know, you uh, pretty much were uh, uh, reminded of your place and all that. And anything you tried to do was challenging and confrontational. And you could either, uh, but unlike the days of the slavery and, sh and shackles, you weren't and being beaten or whatever. You're in some workplace and it's, it changed from, uh, you got, you're almost begging for your slavery on the wages you do. 
And instead of that, we'll throw you out and make you homeless and destitute. And so instead of a, you know, a, so this isn't just girly yoga and all that. You know, you have friends and girlfriends and wives that do a little bit of this too, influenced by uh, other activities that I mixed in with my other videos because things ain't getting any safer, you know, for your wives or girlfriends, you know what I mean? If you get some female MMA influence things and be able to kick somebody's face into outer space, you know, even though she has soft hands and maybe she can't do all this knuckle push ups, me and my little boxing and MMA, still got soft hands, but you merge it with some of the cheerleader majorette flexibility, you know, and be able to wear hard shoes or boots and be able to kick high enough and kick her face into outer space, you know, like I said. Uh, in the news the other day that was put in our local county blog at a, at a supermarket parking lot like some of us go all the time somebody tried to rob this woman at knife point take her car or and all that i says yeah teach your women flexibility at least if they can't do with their fists to be able to kick their face into outer space like say if the, your wife's hands both her hands are grabbed some kind of way you know, just be able to use that leverage just to kick her face and, you know, well, I got into a little off the subject, but you know what I mean. This is multi-purpose. A lot of you guys that have already been following me, but this was actually a video about, you know, doing this shit safely. And trying to, people trying to say something can't be done or shouldn't be done, but we're doing it anyway. And when you're doing it anyway, you're mentally or morally or psychologically deranged or deficient just like that guy uh, uh, Sinatra speaks or Sinatra says his YouTube channel uh, now fitness is violent because it's uh, you're triggering people like uh, anyway you get the idea <laughs>